Now the only question I got for you is... Where the fuck is she? So I'm Ryan and I'm being joined by Adam for the first time from Hello. THG. I am. And uh, Adam has uh, discovered VR, so uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on, Adam. Um, so I'm playing VR, it's the most amazing thing that's ever happened to anyone ever. Um, <laughs> so it's here we're playing VR Worlds, uh, the London Heist. Um, it's my favourite game from the London Heist, from the VR Worlds, sorry. Uh, because you get to use the move controllers, which is the only game where you do. Um, and they're fun because you can just flare your arms, it's brilliant. He, I once watched him play uh, The Impatient and he, for 30 minutes, had a sandwich in his hand and was amazed that he could turn around the sandwich and then virtually ate the sandwich and made a chomping sound. So considering that this game is so interactive, this does not surprise me that it's his favourite game. You just wait for the things I pick up and turn around. It's many, multiple things. <laughs> Adam has multiple things in his hand in this playthrough of The London Heist. Yeah. The story is, is actually quite cool, but we're talking through it, and also because I was so like amazed by being able to touch things, I also missed all the story while I was playing it. But it's, so right here, my hands are actually on backwards, so I had to just change my hands around. <laughs> yeah, I've just got my uh, hands on backwards casually. Yeah, yeah. switch them around. There we go. They're great. They're little like discombobulated glove hands. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the light. But, you see, because I think scary, you know, scary Londoner in my face right now. Prayer was simple. I like this depiction of quiet, English people. Get as well. Serena, I take really, a freak, but hold on, like we have to do a little fucking I think it's quite accurate quiet. for like a Lum Some London sort of mobster. Magician. It's good. The, the game was made by the PS London studio, so I think they pretty much nailed what London is. I think he's gonna fucking love this. London gangsters, yeah. not all Londoners, obviously. So all Londoners are white bald with beaters on. <laughs> well, one put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> now the only question I got for you is, <laughs> where the fuck? So you can really get involved with the story. You can get into the you, know, you should have tried to flick them off. I don't know. You can only like clench your fists. You can't. You don't have articulate fingers. So. You could have done like two fists on top of each other and kind of, <laughs> kind of done a up yours motion. I'd, I wasn't like thinking about swearing at all the characters. I feel like there has been a lack of commitment in trying to curse from you, Adam. I'm very disappointed. I think the music's quite on point. It's yeah, it's good. Uh, I'm kind of waiting now though for some story to happen. This great, this seems great. That you get a lot of chance to like play with things. I really like this design as well, the, the English pub. So I can't help but notice Adam, are you wearing fluffy slippers? Oh of course I am, these are my indoor slippers. So this is cool, you get a cigar, you can light it, and then you can put it in your mouth, and then you just smoke a cigar, like a proper gangster. Because <laughs> all gangsters all smoke shot. cigars. While wearing fluffy slippers. While wearing fluffy slippers. <laughs> Sitting on an antique sofa by the looks of things. Well, yeah, yeah. I, you need to fit in with the situation. That I'm on a leather sofa in the game, or I'm on a leather sofa day. in real life. You're wearing slippers in the game, you're wearing I'm slippers done. in real life. Yeah. Pissed off about French Tony dying. Talking <laughs> to the Russian. Poor Tony. <laughs> Victor fucking like all and his as outrageous as fucking money. So I think the graphics are pretty good for a VR game. It's like My nothing special, but like for being inside like he a three D world, so you just move around. You can't make money it's pretty awesome. from a prison cell. I got some pretty good characters in this. Coffee. London Heist. Well. He's spot on. Though I'm kind of ignoring all the stories happening right now, I'm just playing with my new glove hands. This Russian lot has so got a clue. PSVR Worlds was released in um, in October 2016. So, if you consider how you know how old the game is, it and uh, considering how poor the PSVR graphics can look in some games, it looks you know, like Adam said, it, the, the attention to detail in this is impeccable for what it is. 
especially as this isn't even a fully fledged game this is like one of was it four or five games it's not even a like the mainstay of the disc yeah so yes vr worlds has five games on i think uh, so it's london heist you have uh, a game where you're in space driving like a crab robot um, i think it's called battle ball or something you've got this like pong He's type game dial. there's a luge game where you're going down Serena. a steep hill um, and there is like a deep sea diving simulation yeah so when, when you consider well, that this phone? this was actually released psvr was actually released more or less on alongside of the initial psvr release so little note here this is a sony yeah, phone we're using it's a sony <laughs> studio wink wink um so that's october 26 uh, october 2016 Dash. both of these were released so this is almost you could consider like a day job. one game, not uh, the and unfortunately, Cash is not flammable in this game. Sure no, Cash is not flammable. So all you've got to do. So is it's walk not like in, was it Wind Waker, where you can basically do anything if you can imagine it, you can do it. Easy. But kind of uh, limited. There are limitations, as uh, you, you can see that this is this is showcasing the technology. It was released with the technology, but uh, what we were trying to say is. That it look it looks as good as the latest release on the on the the platform that the impatient is recently released and it looks as good as the impatient. Wouldn't you agree, Adam? Oh, right. Right. And you get to piss about in this game, which makes it better than the impatient. I feel like you going. Look at this, pick another card. I know that. That also does not sound fun. So I tested said, many things for <laughs> Sony does not believe in flammable materials. But the physics are pretty good, as I'm now demonstrating by building a small castle out of objects. That he, he continues to try and light. <laughs> so some story is happening right now, but you know. As I was saying, I'm always impressed by the physics. I've known just, you just since things. you was little. You've been part of the family since we took you in. And that's what <laughs> Adam is stroking his virtual mob friend. It's my, I'm looking part to of my family. I feel yeah, like you were trying to caress his face there. Mm -hmm. he, he pulled away though, so I'm not sure. I, I, I don't think he swings that way, mate. Yeah, so I'm just lighting a cigar in my mouth now. Yeah. Just for fun. Oh, also, gangsters don't burn. I tried to burn his hand too. but. Uh, so if you're from across the pond, if you're in America or any other part of the world, London is actually inflammable. This is you completely can't. accurate. Yeah. London Bridge just burning down, it was a yes. hoax. What? Is, fire of London? What? Yeah, just, there, there was no... We don't even know what fire is in, in England. I think you just missed that. Mickey texted me, so I threw the phone away. And then it just appears back on the table. So if, in this game, if you drop something, it just handily reappears. This is uh, made more real by your extremely limited... Frisbee. You know what this ability is? to actually move. This. You cannot this stand up and move around in this game at all. You are. S a it's a. Uh, you're along for the ride, really. I think it works really well though, because because you're sat in a chair all the time. You don't get any of the like, sickness that you get with some games where you move really quickly. They they also because this was one of those early games, they hadn't figured out how to move around. <laughs> yeah. They're they're only really recently done that in the last say like five or six months, and we're talking 2017 here. End of end of. I was quite impressed when I threw that money, I was able to catch it in mid-air. So it, I, I do like the physics of this game and how oh, it does work out. You did exactly the same thing as me, I was juggling the money, I was like, <laughs> yep, there's my money. Mo money, mo money, mo money. Mo money. He's a threatening man. So I kind of broke this bit in the game. So you're supposed to look at him and then it starts the animation. But then I kind of look away and I look back and he's back to his original position. It takes like three attaches to get him to say anything. You've got some stones looking me in the eye. And then there's like set pieces so when you look at the exit he says something. And when you kind of, it's triggered by where you're looking so it's quite pretty cool. You and me are going to play a little game. And the game is called... Fight. Where is Serena? I will fight you if I adopt you. Be halfway around the world by now. He has a blowtorch and you don't even have forearms. I think he will fuck your gloves up. That's fine because I'll just like. You know where she is. No, don't blowtorch me. I'm gonna have to crack you, little piece of shit. I don't give a monkey's fuck what Frank thinks about you. I don't trust you. And do you know why? Because there's only two people who could have taken Serena I'm, today. I'm you or me. And it won't fucking me. Now you tell me where I'm. 
fuck's sake. This game is very sweary though. I think it's, it's very English. It's the one Frank. that comes with the like VR headset. So it's like kids aren't allowed to play VR. <laughs> it has a warning saying like no one under twelve to play VR anyway. Is it like so breaks their brain or something? I don't know what it does. To you. I'll check this out. You put the phone up to your ear, and then. I understand we have a little dialogue. The sound gets louder because it's closer to your head. Very cool. Just tell me, in your own words, exactly what happened. Are you hearing that? Because you've got the right earphone in. I am. I did not hear any of that. <laughs> I was like, where's the sound? Did he put it up to his right ear though? I did, yeah. I also tried in another playthrough, I switched it to my other hand and I changed while he was talking. And it changes in, in your ear. So it's you, like 360 you, audio, it's really cool. Were you amazed? I was amazed. Adam is easily amazed, just to let you, you folks know. So because we've been speaking over all the story, I feel I need to explain now. We're now in a study, trying to solve a little puzzle to find a diamond to steal. So it's kind of like escape room style. Like, what have you got to use? What can you touch? So this is called the London Heist, and this is essentially the heist part. So he's, uh, you're seeing what they stole, basically. I've just stood on the um, cable attached to the headset and like ripped it out of my ear. So that's like a uh, floor of the having a wired headset. Is that I seem every time I play it, God, I stand on the cable down. and like almost pull my head off. <laughs> so, so what Adam doesn't understand is that you can wrap the cable a away from your body. <laughs> he, he likes to wrap it around his ankles for extra <laughs> realism. <laughs> also, the sound for the guy speaking is now coming out my right ear because I put that headset in my right ear when he gave it to me. So now you're confused. Oh, the Bluetooth, yeah. Just looking around. I think sitting in the one position really like works with this. It makes you move around a lot to kind of pick stuff up and like inspect it. Very important cigars. So have you noticed he hasn't lit that cigar? No, there's no lighter in this bit. Yeah, but you could have put it in your mouth. Could I? Have you tried it? I would had enough cigars after one. That number changes every time, which I think is just a nice touch. Though this is very fiddly. Right. All clear. <laughs> How many attempts did it take you it, to get a four numbers? It took me three attempts. I do it this time. <laughs> and then uh, I was just amazed by. I was actually looking for more drawers now. I thought, what else can I touch and pull out? Cool. You can do some kind of John Woo kind of moves diving down the sofa. So you need to kind of protect yourself behind this desk. It's also really cool. The gun really works like, really well. Like you can look down the sights and actually it will sort of fire like a It's not just like a cross set. It is on your eye aim. If you put it by eye, obviously. Well, I have noticed something that is factually inaccurate. He picked up the magazine and slid it into the gun and he did not cock it back below the first bullet. Uh, yep, I'm, I've only got two hands and no body. I'm also just like, what's even being shot at the moment? Because I have no body. Is it just my hands are getting shot a ton? So, what, Adam exists in this world as a floating head and two gloves. Here we go, get some John Woo on there, both feet off the ground. <laughs> Gangster at side. Holding the gun sideways. There is a challenge in this game to kill all the guards with one magazine. Oh yeah, I've seen that. I have not done, as it is clearly obvious. Adam is infamous for his uh, headshot headshotting abilities. I did get the challenge where you headshot all the people. Though. He has also played the London Heist 34 times. I have played it four or five times. 34. It's Sorry. really short, but it's really, like, you can play it again and again. There's also a mode, like a uh, target practice mode, where you're, like, at a shooting range and you just shoot stuff. 
That mode is also available on the London uh, VR demo disc that comes with the uh, PSVR. It's fast that effect. So, so it's quite you, you move about a lot when playing this game. Yeah, this, this this area is quite difficult because you basically have to hide behind this desk, find ammunition, and still kill them. And shoot the gun sideways. Do you see my left hand is like freaking out there? I think it's because I had the controller behind the other one. Like, Couldn't track it. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Still in the Get a diamond. That's how you do a heist. Is it? If you're unaware. <laughs> So that, that, that's that, that's how you heist, guys. In London, that's how you steal things. <laughs> so if you, if you ever wanted to steal stuff from London, just just do what Adam is doing. Yeah, make sure you never get up out of your seat and just like kind of spin around. You have to stay in one place. Adam is is the master of spinning around in his chair. I am, as you have just seen. <laughs> you took out Victor's security, grabbed Serena, and you did a runner. So what's the fucking up? I want to know where that diamond is. And if I have to come down there myself, I'm not sure I'll ever, like, having your hands move movie. when you move your hands in real life will never get old for me. Right. I just love to flail. <laughs> you do love to flail. Well, play time's over. <laughs> You're a legend. You lit that place up like a fucking Christmas tree. You're one ruthless little bastard. I'm proud of you. So there's loads of challenge in this game. Um, basically, like doing all the things is a challenge. One of the challenges is do all the things in the van, which basically means like pick everything up, uh, you know, turn the radio up, retune the radio. Um, so if anyone's like, Hunting for the challenges, I do all the things right now. So, um, one of them is throw all the rubbish out the window. <laughs> I don't think my counterpart is impressed. With. I really like how that he reacts to things you do. So what the game is obviously trying to do is really immerse you in this world, and and Adam is is the the, the person I know who who just likes to fuck around with things. Move the air vents, put the hazards on. You see the uh, thing in the, uh, oh, the sun visor. Yeah, the sun visor. Can you take out that piece of paper that's in it? No, you can't. Have you tried that? Uh, yeah, I did. You just kind of move the sun visor again. That's one of the challenges, actually, just to look at that image. Of the, like, the, it's a problem too <laughs> Collect them all. <laughs> Only in London. God, I can't well, there's been no claims, God. This is a bit I feel a bit weird though, because I don't yeah. recognise this Make as a road that would be in London. Now most London roads will be there'll be cars, bumper to bumper. <laughs> 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 there will never be a straight bit of road like this. It's like they it's five thirty AM apparently. I think they've done that so that they can kind of excuse the fact there's no cars, but even so, at 5.30 in London, there's tons of cars. Yeah, there would be so much traffic. So I did too well at this part. I think you're supposed to kill them like a few seconds later, so we just sat here waiting for the next enemy. Adam is feeling very gangster right now. He keeps spinning it on the side. There's, yeah, you need to hold the to the side at all times. So one, another one of the challenges is shooting the petrol tanks on the bikes, which just happened. Then. It's, it's... it's cool how the AI is actually moving forwards and backwards to try and avoid your gunfire. Nice. Yeah, you can't shoot them though. It just doesn't let you fire. I've tried. You can shoot the inside though. Adam has done that at length. Celebratory shooting up in the sky. This is fun. I wouldn't say this is nice shit, you're not exactly taking that vehicle down. I know, I'm just having some fun with the shooting. This is why, this is like, they picked really good scenes to have you sit down. So you're sat in the pub and then you're sat in the study and now you're sat in a van. Because it's VR, so you can't move. But I think it's pretty clever the, the like, places they've chosen. So, uh, um. Our best guess is you're either sitting 
because it's VR, or my guess is that you're in a wheelchair, so that's why you can't move. That's a very good point. I guess you're not moving. Yeah, it's a very inclusive game because the character could be anyone because you never see who it actually is. Mm -hmm. It's our it's our faceless wheelchair hero. All you know is that they have two hands. Two gloved hands. Yeah, so you don't even see their skin colour. Nope. This could be the least prejudicial game ever made. What I really like about this as well is that uh, the way your hands are still work, even when you're not looking. So throughout this chase, I can be looking out the window, but with my left hand, I've been picking up uh, magazines and ammo for the gun, which is like to my right hand side, like that. There. So I'm now holding one that I just picked up, but I didn't have to look, which I, I like that. Because you know where it is, don't you? Mm. You just pick it, pick it up, pick it up. Yeah, it's good. It's that immersive that you kind of know your surroundings even when you're not looking. You can't really avoid the grenade when you're you know, being driven by Mickey in his like, white van. Here's everyone in London that does a heist and drives a white van, guys. There was like a statistic that like 95% of all bank jobs were done with full transit vans. <laughs> it would not surprise me. Yeah. That slow motion is really cool though because obviously because you're moving in the real world you can basically move the super speed because you, you, you don't go into slow motion physically, obviously. Did you go supersonic? I did, but I put my hand out the window so fast. It was like a blur. Just discarding the evidence there. So safety conscious but has the lights on, now we stopped in this middle way. He fucking lied to us. He's clearing ranks. Look what happened to French Tony. He's fucking mugging us off. He never thought we'd get the diamond. He thought we'd be fucking dead by now. Fuck. So this is like how immersive it is. Like I just like hit the sofa while I'm trying to reach for his gear stick. Because I've forgotten I'm sat on the sofa. <laughs> I think I'm in a van. We got Frank's beloved Serena. And he wants her. Oh, I want that diamond. We could just keep so the when diamond. He comes to get her. Take that diamond. Fuck A little bit of load time there, it was quite long. Considering it's just going from a static scene to a static scene, it's a bit long for these kind of games. Oh, come on, Frank, pick up the fucking phone. Sorry. Frank can't come to the phone right now. He's busy with a couple of mugs that know something about his fucking diamond. Let's have a bit of privacy, shall we? Now, as you might know, there's a lot riding on this. A lot for you, personally. I don't know what that means. So do it I have to get my hands dirty? Or does one of you is it my tell me what Why is it the fuck happened? Hey, easy, Frank. I'm just about I think it's because he's tied to the chair. You've gone mad. It's not the Dark Ages, Mickey. <laughs> oh, Frank. It will be the fucking Dark Ages once I'll burn their fucking eyes out. It took me, like, three playthroughs to understand that joke. Because <laughs> it's dark when you have no eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the alarms? The fucking alarms! French Tony, you're clearing ranks! You what? French Tony! French Tony, French Tony was a fucking grass! Oh, you know what we I think there should be a prequel called French Tony. <laughs> you play as French Tony. You hear this, Tony? Adam wants French Tony. Yeah. He's uh, uh, an endearing character. I think I'm more attached to French Tony than I am attached to these characters. I don't know which one's the bad guy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and start watching me play. I don't think I'm tired of it. Just sat on a chair. <laughs> My inability to leave a chair. For those of you that don't know, Adam spends 90% of his life in a chair, wait, waiting for usually copy. And I... in, in, in this case, I think it's creative. <laughs> oh. A bit more slow mo. Super speed. Caught going me there. Good. Style. Style for me. Idiot. Well, there's no bullets in there, though, is there? Snake. There's a single bullet. What you waiting for? Kill him! Yeah, but how do you know if it's on the right spot? Well, because it's a video game. This bit, I don't like. Who do you pick? Because I've known both these characters for 20 minutes. So I killed him because he punched me in the face earlier. Have you ever shot yourself? No. I've only tried you. it then, when I had no bullets left. <laughs> nah, we've got a I don't know what happened. I presume it'll just shoot through your head. Let's start with what happened with those alarms. Cause when it's I it's, the it's so intense down, when you're in an actual gunfight. Because you're actually there, dead. being shot at. You don't think to like mess about like you do when you're just sat in the pub. One more thing. Trying to Chilling. set thing on, on fire. Where's my diamond? I think that's the traffic set up to a sequel as well. Well, it's been almost two years, and uh, there's no sequel, Adam. There should be a fresh Tony Pickroll. So I've been Ryan, and this has been Adam. And uh, thank you for tuning in, and uh, let us know what you thought of the video in the comments below, and uh, visit to you at Honest Guys. <laughs>